a really pleasant bus ride. Uh, it's very rare, but uh, this bus driver, he was driving carefully and deliberately and gently. And uh, most bus drivers in Korea, they drive their buses like they're sports cars. They take off at a jerk, they slam on their brakes all the time. This is a really nice bus ride. Except the, I was up front and the bus driver the whole time was just muttering curses at everybody else on the road the entire trip down here. It was funny. Um, I'm on my way to Ansan. I'm going to go geocaching at Hanyang University. So come along with me, see what happens. I saw the cache from quite a ways away. Are they really trying to hide it? This one I could see as I was walking up. So they're not making a, a great attempt to hide them so far. All right, now we are just getting lazy. This, this actually is the cash container. And it just looked like a piece of trash in there. I don't think that's a good idea, personally. That's the golfing range. I never used it. I never really liked the idea of golfing. All right, there's a cash here. My guess is, I'm just guessing, but I think it would be right there. There it is. People just come here and practice their drives. This cache is a little better. <laughs> Think. Well, this might be a lesson in uh, GPS. That little, that little spot of uh, grass there where a tree used to be. Um, between there and that little tree there, that's ground zero on the other side of the street. The description for this cache says that it is uh, flat and two meters high. There's nothing over there that a flat object could be on two meters high, except maybe that little tree, and I looked at that, there's nothing there. So considering the GPS is not perfect when you're around buildings, especially that's south, um, and I guess a lot of GPS satellites are south I don't know but uh, when you're around buildings uh, your chances of uh, screwing up your GPS readings are pretty good so I came over here to this side of the street and I looked here I got up on the benches and looked around couldn't see anything I got up on this got a better angle to see the cache you can see it right there can't you right there Again, a lesson about GPS, uh, the GZ is over there beyond, about eight meters that way is what the GPS is telling me, but because of all these buildings, you're not gonna get a very good GPS reading. So I just came here and started looking, where would I hide it? And I found it right there. Geocache is right there. Well, one of the hard things for me, anyway, about caches hidden in places like this is that all of the nooks and crannies look the same, and then the hint says between rocks. Well, it's not much of a hint, is it? <laughs> I'm looking at the hints to speed this thing up a little bit. The sun's going down. But this looks like a likely place. And it is. Yay. Ugh. Just another plain bottle. Seretaje. I thought I had a first to find, but uh, it wasn't. It said um, on, the, on the log sheet, it said hidden by, and then somebody wrote their name. And then I was the next one. I thought, whoa. My first to find, but then I got, I got online. Um, if I think I'm the first to find, I use my cell phone and I post it right away. 
but uh, I wasn't. <laughs> That's all of them here at Hanyang University. And uh, the next closest one is out that way by the freeway or something, I don't know. And then over at Ansan Park, Ansan Lake Park, which I've tried twice, I can't find anything over there at all. Nothing. So, that's good. It's nice coming over here and reminiscing about the place I used to work, place place I used to live. Find some geocaches. Now I'm going to go home make a make a mug of tea. Feed my cats, prop my feet up, and maybe watch some cartoons. It's Saturday night after all, I'm going to live it up. <laughs> oh Lord of mercy. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. <laughs>